Mono Price has a brand new 3D printer and this could be the easiest and cheapest 3D printer out there right now. So it's called the Mini Select V2. There's another model, a more cheaper model. That one is called the Mini Delta. I have info on all the pricing and where you can buy it and when it's gonna come out in the description below. I wanna talk about the Mini Select V2. That's what this printer is called. So I got to see it in person and it was printing out like a small uh, base sample. This thing is cool, uh, not just because of price, um, because it comes fully assembled right out of the box. I've always been interested in 3D printing, but I've never bothered to learn all the configuration, uh, learning all the accessories that go along with it, learning how to uh, take care of it uh, maintenance wise. So on my PC, I have a bunch of 3D files uh, ready for me to print out. I knew one day I was gonna get a 3D printer, but I was waiting until something came out that was uh, affordable, not huge. I didn't want like a big giant refrigerator sized, uh, well, like a mini refrigerator sized 3D printer. I didn't want that. I wanted something small to print out like little figures or like uh, accessories for like my camera, or, like different, uh, like, maybe like a, a smartphone case, maybe. There's a lot of cool stuff that people have been doing with 3D printing. So this is a really awesome entry point. The Delta is obviously cheaper, but the Mini Select is the one that I saw in person. And that one is like uh, 220. And another good thing about that one, it has auto leveling. It should be simple and hopefully it is that simple. So I went to the Mono Price booth just to see the 3D printer, but they also had a robot vacuum. And the beauty of it is that you don't have to worry about the charging because it charges itself. So what'll happen is like it'll, it'll get it set into motion, it vacuums for hundred minutes and it'll actually come back to this charger. It knows, it knows how to get home, essentially. It has edge sensor technology. So if you're at the edge of the wall, it senses that you're at the wall, it'll actually change the way it cleans. It also That's senses really cool um, These products are cool too. Cleaning. And I actually think they're right in the other parts of the floor. It'll actually change its motion, which is usually like a zigzag, uh, and then we'll go in circles and clean that spot. Um, it also has smart sensor technology for the type of floor. So it has all these sensors. It can detect if you have a hard floor or a carpet. So it switches between uh, different modes. Uh, and it's a mop. I didn't know that. So it has a compartment, you can put your water. I think you can put soap in there too. It'll scrub the floor. So the fact that it cleans your floor by itself is really cool. But just like the Roma, the coolest feature is the auto charging that it can uh, sense your floor. So it maps out everything and it goes right back to the charging dock. So let's say you, you work in the morning. Uh, by the time you come home, your floors of it, your whole entire apartment, room, whatever is already clean. I think that's cool. So that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Nelson.